up, man players? Man Talk 24 7 here with a tip out of the single back ace formation. The play is called PA Bucks Corner, I believe. Alright, yeah, PA Bucks Y Corner. And I will show it against a quarters two man under defense. Now, the adjustments you want to make for this play I'll put B on a fade and motion two steps and put X on a in route. As you see, the motion fade inside. You can pass that inside because the corner, he automatically gets inside position when you motion the fade two steps inside. And he automatically gets inside position, passing that inside, easy completion. And as you see, you still have the tight ends on the, their corner routes. You have a corner route that A is on and a corner route that Y is on. That is why I really like this play because you have a lot of options. You have to defend downfield. You have a you have a in route, a corner route on the left, a corner route on the right, and a motion fade. So this play is very very tough to stop, and you don't have to put X on an in route, but um you can put them on a curl, drag, slant. It is all about preference, but I really prefer to put them on an in route. So that's the route that I put them on. Now that was against a quarters team and under. This is against a random defense to show you how it is. It's a random Flex defense, Ohio. the same Flex setup. Um, I only motion inside uh, B on his fade and gets man press. If it's um, if it's about zone and they are off him, I do not motion inside because it's really no need to. So I just leave him on his fade if they're off of coverage, if they're not press coverage. As you see, the your main your main reads are going to be the double tight end corner routes. Those are really your main reads. You also have B on a pass lead inside, but your main reads are going to be the tight ends on the corner route, the fade, and then as a last option, you have the in route coming across the middle slowly. Like right here, no one else was open. I was able to pass through the in route for about 10 yards. So this play is really, really good because of the tight ends on the corner routes, and that is why I really like this play. And both wide receivers are motionable, so you get motion. So you can um, put X on a fade route and motion him inside, and end up putting B on an in route drag or curl. So you can really fool a round with this play. You can even put one tight end on a streak on a fade. You can really mess around with this play. I hope you enjoyed, and be sure to look for more Tampa Bay tips coming out soon.